Well, Merry f Christmas! Hi guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my channel. And pour yourself a glass of wine. Because today is our first time. First time I'm letting you into my jewelry box! Yay! <laughs> I am so beyond excited to post this video, finally. I did not get a thousand likes on the video that I wanted to get a thousand likes on to post this video, but I'm posting it anyway because I have no self-control and no spine. I need to say a few important things before you scroll through this intro to get to the good part. Do not <laughs> listen to this. It's important, I promise. I have insane shorts on my channel. So for extreme close-ups or for different lighting on different pieces, check out my shorts. They're pretty much all jewelry close-ups. There is this frivol pendant in daylight after I bought it. Guys, you have to see that. You have to see this pendant because it's my favorite pendant. I got it to wear with all of my Alhambra earrings, with any earrings in yellow gold because I don't like being too matchy-matchy and it goes well with absolutely everything. It's like so neutral, but at the same time, it's so feminine and makes a little bit of a statement. I have Cartier diamond pave ring. I have Cartier diamond pendant in one of my shorts. I have three motif magical humbra earrings in malachite in daylight. After you finish this video, go see my shorts. You will watch them nonstop. So the link will be down below. Also, my entire necklace collection is also linked down below. Just like my most recent video, which was Van Cleef and Arpel bracelet collection with extreme close-ups, every scratch, everything like under a microscope. I usually showcase my jewelry at the end. So just so you know, it gets real good at the end of the necklace video. And of course, if you enjoy this kind of content, lots and lots of eye candy, talking mainly jewelry, please give this video a like because I'm very self-conscious and it helps me with my self-esteem. It also helps my videos a lot and subscribe to my channel for the very same reason. So while editing my jewelry collection video, I'm filming this intro after. So I have astigmatism and I need to wear glasses in order to edit my videos. And I realized that my camera didn't focus on some jewelry pieces up close because I was filming at night, possibly, possibly because I don't see what I'm filming most of the time until I'm editing. And knowing you and how much you want everything to be perfect and everything to be visible, you whiny little <laughs> because you have standards, I have decided to refilm most pieces in daylight after I've packaged them to go to the safety deposit box. I it was so stressful. The next day I just put them all on the bed and I filmed. But you're not that lucky because I'm gonna insert everything that I filmed at the beginning and then we're gonna do the better close-ups of most pieces and you will be the judge. So please like this video. I worked really hard on it. You've seen most of my jewelry. Most of my jewelry in close-ups is already on my channel. Some things I have let go, but the butterfly will be in this video because I haven't parted ways with it yet. So I put it inside of the jewelry box. I got these jewelry boxes from Container Store. I love Container Store so much. Obviously, it's not sponsored. I don't even remember the brand for the jewelry box. So while I was editing, I was thinking to myself, what can I say now in order for me to not do voiceover and for you to just listen to some music and enjoy the eye candy? Because sometimes narrating distracts me and I decided to tell you right now the most important things. I wanted to mention that hammered gold gets very dull over time. Yellow becomes very mustardy and rose gold becomes very coppery. You will see it on the sweet earrings, on the vintage earrings, and on my tan motif. And I will also be comparing the tan motif to the earring to show you that there is a difference in the pattern on hammered gold. So I wanted to let you know that that happens sometimes. It doesn't bother me, but maybe it bothers some people. So bring your hammered gold pieces that you already own to compare to the ones that you're possibly ordering. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I will be showing you jewelry that is non-designer, that is non-diamond, it's cubic zirconia. It's in rose gold and those are gifts from Ukraine. I will also be comparing the sparkle between the diamonds 
and uh, those earrings that I own that are non-diamonds and they shine so bright. I don't think the diamonds are necessary at all, but obviously Van Cleef diamonds shine very bright. I did not do the Frivol close-up in a perfect focus because it was on my neck, but the short on my channel is just stunning. For those of you who are interested in this Frivol necklace, go and check. You need to see that short and leave me comments if you want me to review it. I get a lot of questions about it. And also I'm showcasing one earring at the end that is from Macy's. It's a moon-shaped earring with diamonds and it's my favorite single earring. It shines really bright and it's so, so stunning. This video will have tons of links in its description. So I don't want you to get lost in all of my videos if you want to find something. If I get, and let's be reasonable here, if I get five requests to review one of the pieces that I own, I'm making that video right away. I've been enjoying making videos for you guys. I have been so active on YouTube and if you enjoy Enjoy my videos definitely support my channel by subscribing I know it's hard sometimes you're on TV watching YouTube and you need to log in so do it from your phone do it from your laptop and hit the like and notification bell <sighs> I think that's it this is by far my most requested video and I'm doing it for you I do not like showing everything I have but because you've been super nice to me lately I appreciate it and I wanted to give back some eye candy again thank you very much for watching hit the like the notification bell the subscription button what else can you click I guess that's it and comment down below and let's go
Thank you.